Hey guys, Martin from Quad Spinner here, and we're going to be discussing the Edge node. It's personally one of my most used nodes, as it basically is an easy way to prep a terrain for your 3D scenes when you want to maybe instance your mountain assets around to create a vast landscape or any other uses you can think of where you need the edges of your terrain to be flat. In our case, it helps us flatten the borders of this mountain range primitive so we don't have any of those edges exposed. And then we just add our erosions and other things on top of that. Now the edge node gives us a few different options when we are creating the edge. So we have the square edge, which is the default setting. And here we can select the size. So this is basically the aggressiveness of the mask that is uh, pushing down the edge here. And as you can see here, as we turn this up further, it slowly starts increasing the border area and making the transition towards the edge more smooth. We also have the round option. And this is, of course, a round mask of the edge. This might be nice if you don't like the square mask that is sometimes quite visible. Round might be a great alternative. Lastly, there is a precise mask, and this will just basically cut your border with a constant fall off. So you don't have any fall off. It's just as if you're kind of slicing into this terrain. This can give you kind of a cool silhouette of the mountain on the sides, or this might be useful if you need this kind of side geometry for 3D printing, for example. So there you go, that's the edge node, and I hope this was helpful for you guys.